fuck. <clears throat> when I flew home from Connecticut, my suitcase was 14 pounds overweight. It cost me an extra $120 to get this back home. Mostly because of all of the liquid inside. <sighs> oh my gosh, so much stuff. Oh. <clears throat> One dope thing I got, I got a, a little bit of a gift bag from, I, I believe his name was Jordy. I'm not 100% sure, oh my God, I might be wrong about that. Oh my God, I might be wrong about this. Giving proper credit where credit is due to the proper person is really important to me, and I don't know why I can't remember people's names. I think his name was Jordy. Look at Pickle Rick Bobblehead. Out of everything I got at NVE, out of all the liquids, whatever, devices, toppers, drip tips, dude, Pickle Rick Bobblehead? <laughs> Ah! Yeah, I got I got a bunch of coils. Um, these are for British eyes only on Instagram. I got some coils from him. I got a bunch of uh, a bunch of those Mojo pods, like a like a like a like a grip of those Mojos. And I got a oh well, maybe I won't show this off just yet. I got a retro vaping from uh, from uh, Vapor Express in Connecticut, uh, from Nick at Vapor Express. I believe his name is Nick. Was his name Nick? Did I mention I am really bad with names? But yeah, I got a retro vaping that I'm excited about. In fact, I got two retro vapings that I am really excited about at NVE. <laughs> and now I'm not gonna say what's in here, but another dude named Tyler, I guess you can kind of see, I taste. Oh, but what is it? Oh, I don't know. We're gonna have to wait for a, a vlog and a retro vaping. Shout out to Tyler for hooking up another dope retro vaping for the vlog. Old Spice Bear Glove. That's, that's, that's what I wear. Got Girl Scout cookies, dude. You guys don't want to see my underwear. Uh, Bogan gave me all of the, uh, all of his liquids, including the new one, Bloody, this is the one. This is the one. Oh, baby. So this is, Bloody Ripper, and I, we tasted this, but uh, keep an eye on Bogan's YouTube because we did a really fun uh, beer pairing, and I got to try his Bloody Ripper liquid. Really looking forward to this. I don't even remember the flavor profile. I just remember in that moment, I loved it. You, you never know, it could just be like the romance of the event. I might get home and, and vape this liquid and be like, what was I thinking? Oh, and TVL, TVL donated some uh, revenants, two, two TVL revenant deltas that are gonna be, uh, you know, give away $2, right? $2 sales. And, Bo <laughs> and Bogan brought me from Australia uh, some hot tomato sauce. This is a thing in Australia and he wanted me to have it and it's hot tomato sauce. And he says tomato. And I kept saying tomato. You know, it's like the old saying goes. Also, I mean, come on. Clutch beer koozie. <laughs> Awesome. This is the bag with all of the liquid in it. This is this is all liquid in this bag. Yeah, I'm 100% sure this is what made my bag overweight. Uh, a few things I'm excited about are, are these liquids right here. Mango sticky rice, pineapple sticky rice, and coconut sticky rice. This is made by uh, Gold Leaf Drip, the same people that do that uh, hooch pure banana that I love so much. I went over to their booth, tasted some of their liquids, uh, I couldn't I couldn't pass up the mango sticky rice. Mango sticky rice is just an e-liquid flavor that I really really like. I also got some of these uh sad boy e-liquid. Everybody there was walking around vaping the Shamrock Shake. Maybe because it was St. Patrick's Day, but everybody was vape Shamrock Cookie. What did I say? Shamrock Shake? This isn't McDonald's, man. Shamrock Cookie. They also do uh, a key lime cookie and something uh, unicorn tears. I don't. I don't know, man. I picked up another bottle. I picked up a bottle of uh, Surf Satisfying as well, just because I hadn't had it in a really long time. I also bought a few bottles of the Rich Kids of Instagram, RKOI from Coil Spill. If you remember 
way back in the day, like, I don't know, two years ago, RKOI from, uh, from Coil Spill was like my favorite. It was like my pony on acid. It was my legacy juice and I loved it and I just hadn't had it in a while. So I went and bought some bottles and I'm really excited about it. I also got, whoops. I was also given the Nata e-liquid. Does anybody remember the Nata e-liquid? It was like a, a Portuguese custard tart that I really, really liked. Well, they did a, uh, a raspberry version of it. So future very random liquid tasting. And I also got this and I don't know where it's from, but it's just called Old Fashioned Lemon Glazed Donut. And that just, Sounded so great. Oh, oh, and I finally, finally, finally got a bottle of Strawman Head. <laughs> yes, I forgot about this. I'm not sure if anybody's a, a podcast listener, but Ruby Roo used to vape this juice, Strawman Head, and every time she said it, the name of it, Strawman Head, it made me chuckle. And I've never had this liquid, and I'm so excited to finally try it. Strawman Head. Oh yeah, also all this stuff. There was honestly a lot of like uh, Saltnik and Pod companies uh, there, and I, I, I was given just a mountain of these uh, these new disposable guys, which, you know, disposables, right? Controversy. Some people like them, some people don't like them. It, it's generating garbage, it's generating trash. Is this a good thing for the industry? This is from TVL, and this is called the Quickie. And, and they had an apple mint that uh, I actually really liked. They are, I mean, they are real high nicotine. These, these are 50, so... Ah, you know, I, I'm a low nicotine a a proponent, advocate of low nicotine. I don't love 50 milligram. Oh yeah. Oh my God, I have such a bad memory. I don't even know if I can talk about this mech mod right now. I need to, I need to do some research and try to figure out where this mech mod came from. I can't remember the name of the company, but it's based, I believe, on the original Manhattan mech mod. Or, or it is the original Manhattan mech mod, but modified. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna need, I need to do some more research on this mech mod before I even can talk about it. Oh yeah, and this was a retro vape. This was a retro vape from the same guy that got me the Pickle Rick. Oh my God, what was his name? Well, it, it's a Lotus with a Mystery RDA on top here. I'll cover it up. And it came pre-installed with a Daily Vape TV sticker. So, pre-stickered. And I also got this fucking rad squonker. And look, you know, I like blue, I like purple, I get it. This kind of looks like a squonker that Casey Pickle might use instead of myself, but... Dude, I don't even care. I like blue and I like purple. That is, that is, that is pretty slick. Again, writing people's names down would be really helpful. I know Jess knows who this person is. Let me text Jess and see who, who got this squonker. Where is my phone? All right, well, we'll see what Jess says, but I want to give proper credit where credit is due because this is kind of a dope little squonker. It comes with a square bottle and there's like, a, it's fully mechanical and there's a 3D printed little button lock on the inside that just sits on there. It's just simple and it works. <laughs> oh yeah, this. I got a little tiny posable skeleton guy. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I don't remember this guy's name. Again, it, oh fuck me running. Um, this was a gift, it was a very gracious gift. He showed me his Instagram and he takes pictures of like mods and atomizers and stuff with this like little posable skeleton, like chilling with his stuff. And you can even get like, little accessories for the skeleton like you just put it put a tiny little hat on the tiny little skeleton and have him like pose with a bottle of liquid <laughs> that's awesome i just you know i i love stuff like this it just i don't know makes me really happy oh yeah and my fucking dreamer ardent so here let me tell you the story behind why this is even in this bag i brought this because i had the bright idea like oh i'll grab stan We'll sit down, we'll shoot some video, we'll talk about the Dreamer, the Ardent, maybe we'll even build it, like together, we'll build the Ardent and we can talk about why he did things that he did and we could vape it together and I had this whole video planned and then, 
there's just not enough fucking time in the day to accomplish everything you want to at an event. So the Ardent really just took a trip to NVE and back. It didn't even leave my hotel room. It just flew there and then flew back. So I don't know, we'll talk about the Ardent uh, real soon. Oh yeah, I got some t-shirts. Look at that. Big purple Aspen Modco t-shirt. And what's this? Yeah, boosh. Look at that. Deep Cuts t-shirt. That's so dope. Oh, Jess texted me back. What'd she say? Who this makes this? Matt Bennett. BT Customs. Mr. Matt Bennett of BT Customs. makes this little rad, little super colorful squonker guy. And the one that Jess got kind of actually looks like the one that I should have got. It's mostly like emerald and green type of colors in it. But I, look, I like blue, I like purple, I like this one. Now, and apart from like clothes and underwear, I did, I did steal a Turk beanie from Turk. And the last thing here, shout out to Andy from Ohm's Distro. I'm not even gonna sure, I'm not even sure if this is gonna show up very well on camera, but he got me a birthday gift that is, this is a display for mini Lego figures. Like little Lego mini figs go on here and it's illuminated and you can see a stripe of Lego right here. So they just pop on there and it's, illuminated with LEDs from the behind and he got me a bunch of the little Lego minifigs like there's a there's a BB-8 and a Ray and a Kylo Ren and a Poe and all of these like you know uh, the Force Awakens, Last Jedi, Star Wars Lego minifigs and uh, this is awesome. So thank you Andy, Andy from Ohm's Distro. Okay I think that is actually it. The rest, the rest of this is just the rest of this is just dirty laundry. Yeah, so that's kind of my unpacking and haul from NVE. I'm really stoked to try these liquids. I know for sure that one of those Bogan ones, it might not be the one that I pointed out, but he has one that is like a donut with like cherry in it. Yeah, cherry. It's the only good cherry flavor I may have ever had in my life. Anyway. Well, all right, well, I think I've succeeded actually in making a bigger mess than I had intended to. Well, so now that that's done, I'm gonna actually clean up and unpack now. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Let's keep on vaping.